Alright guys, so now if you go on the lesson 2, grad courses, SUNY grad courses, And you go on Shell Math Lesson 2. You'll see Lesson 2 is there. Alright, so you're welcome to read this. And we, these are kind of like the rules, the steps for uh, drawing LOPs, lines of positions. And then we're going to do this problem. We're going to do this problem okay so I have it pulled up right here in front of me and um, I'm gonna work on it with you guys on the radar oh, on here duplicate I use this one right here. All right, so the first thing they say, plot. Okay, so before I start, we're going to do little things, right? So obviously, you'll eventually get to knowing how to get to each of these numbers, but I'm just going to give you numbers, and with time, you'll get there. So don't get messed up, trust me. It's easier if you take it little by little. Um, so the first thing that you're going to do is, um, you are going to um, input uh, so if you read the problem it says plot and label each of the following on a standard plotting sheet where computations are required do them in the navigation workbook form um, so you're going to begin with if you see the sheet let me pull it up And pardon my slow computer. That's weird. Maybe I should do this again. Next video, I'll have everything pulled up already. That way, I don't waste your time. All right. So they gave us um, certain data already, right? So we're just gonna plug it in. Uh, our two rooms, and we are going to go with this one, right? So that's the first two things that you're going to do. Make sure you print this out, right? And then you're going to go with your observed time, which is 0515, right? 0515 and 0530, right? Um... Actually, I think it's easier. Don't say it. Maybe if I, it's going to be much faster. I just realized. And I'm now restarting this again. If I just talk from here, it's just much easier. All right, so I hope you guys have this printout so you can see it on the side. And when you look at it here, um, I actually have mine highlighted. Um, as you can see, it's highlighted, so I know which numbers they gave me, which were the givens, right? So we have our body name, right? And we have the observed time, right? They are giving us our, our A latitude and A longitude, so that goes here and that goes here, right? We're not going to do anything more at this point. They are giving us our HC and HO. So for this one, when we're just learning everything, uh, we're just going to put it here. Eventually, we'll get there uh, to uh, computing HC. And then they're giving us our ZN, right? So our actual angle. Um, so we 
have everything. So now, how? Um, what are the two things that we got to figure out on here? Is your A. So that we're going to use that whenever we are um, plotting. Once we do our first point, we're going to advance it and uh, retard it. Um, so the first rule that you have to remember is HO less than HC, as here below, you are away. So HC is what? Is it greater or smaller? It's smaller. So since it's smaller, you are towards, right? Uh, easy rule to remember, simple. And then for the advancing or retarding, the question, if you read the question, it says, two star fix, course 315, speed 18 knots, plot and label on uh, at 530, right? So the first one was at 515. The second one is at 5.30, right? The second one is at 5.30. So the thing that you have to remember is that you have to advance it. Simple, right? And how are you going to advance it? DST, right? DST. So if you do that by hand, then I'll do it again. I'll do it right here. Is DST or 60D Street, whatever you like doing. So our distance we want to know we have our speed our speed is 18 knots times 15 divided by 60 and um, if i pull up my calculator i'm positive that it's going to give you the values that you want all right maybe i don't have a calculator All right, so 15 divided by 60 times 18.45, right? So that's your distance, right? So now we have all the information that we need, right? That's good, that's good. Now, the first thing that we're going to do on here is, um, and I'm going to bring my beautiful, beautiful face out of the way, is we're going to need all the information. So let me go back. We're going to need every everything here to plot this next thing, right? So uh, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to need your mid-latitude. Remember, he was talking about your mid-latitude. And there's – maybe I'm cor incorrect on this. But I want to say that I'm very correct on this. I don't know. Um, the first thing is you have to put your A latitude, right? So mid latitude, A latitude, put angle degrees on scale, right? So, for example, if you go back to your sheet, it says A latitude is 42 degrees north, right? And you have your little scale here. And if you look at your plotting sheet, this is, um, what is that? It is 70 on the top. And at the bottom is zero, right? So go to the 40s, right? But there's no 42, right? And a professor once told me that I had to put it on 40. But it doesn't really matter if you put it on 40 or you guesstimate a 42, even if you're guesstimating. Because when you're doing your whole plot and you're using this distance, even if there's a little mistake, if it's 41.75 in reality, the mistake will carry out, so it's not going to make a difference. And I've already qualified for license one, so I know that there's really not much of a difference. Most of your mistakes is going to come from human error. So trust me, just put, make a line on 42. That's the first step, A latitude. So you got your first step done, right? A latitude, you put your line at 42. And your first thing is going to be 42. So the middle of your sheet is going to be 42, right? But now you're going to carry out from here to here on your triangles. And this is, if you count from here to here, it's going to be the same thing as from here to here. And if you do that, it's going to be this little jump, 
this little jump, and you can do another one here. Center, this little jump, this little jump, this little jump, and those are called meridians, right? Those are your meridian lines, right? Now, we have to remember where we are. If you look at, did we get our A latitude? Uh, no, we, we're not working with that. Uh, and I mean our longitude and latitude. But if you look at, we're at north, right? So obviously zero degrees, the equator is going to be down here. So it's 41, 42, 43, right? And I'm sorry if this is very simple for some of you. Some of you might not be having a hard time, might be having a hard time. So I'm going to dump this down as much as I can. Greenwich is here. Um, and why? Because remember, east, if you're looking at Greenwich, to the right is east, and to the west is, or to the left is west. So Greenwich is here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 90, 100, uh, 129, right? So 129, 130, 131, right? Eventually, I'm going to explain the best way of, so this one's pretty simple, right? Your latitude is pretty simple to figure out where to put it. But eventually when you start doing lines of position with three, it's going to become a little more complicated. But I'll eventually explain how to uh, put your A latitude, A longitude on the scale. But for now, it's just the A longitude is 131, put it on the middle, 132, 133. And then, remember, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. All right, so then um, we did step one, right, which was taking the um, your distance from here, make, uh, creating your meridians, and then making your lines with your uh, triangle. Make sure that it's nice and straight. It's very important. Then we use 60 of the mid latitude for meridians. Uh, use minutes of a latitude, of a longitude, to put your AP and AP2. So assume positions, right? So what you are going to do is you are going to take your um, your minutes. So we got 14 and 31.5, and we are going to put them here, right, on this line, on your A, longitude, A latitude, right? So if you do it by hand, you will be able to see that from here, which is, so this is 10, right? If you look at the diagram, I guess I cut it off on my scan, but this is the first line, this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and this is the other 10, right? So from here to here is your 14. And if you count that, you will see that it's from here to here, same value, right? And remember, 131, 131, and 14. 14 is what we calculated, so that's your AP1. And then the second one is your AP2, which is uh, 131, 30.5. So 131, 30.5. And same thing, come here. So 10, 20, 30. So 30. And then we have 0.5. So like half of that would be 1. So half of that, so a fourth. So, you know, barely hitting it that is going to be this much, right? All right, so now you know how I got that point and how I got that point, right? So we have AP1 and AP2. Now, what is our step four? Use course and advance AP lines, right? Your, your prime, right? So this is a very simple problem. And remember that we're going to advance or retract or retard. They I say they say retard. Um, so the only one that we're advancing, because the problem wants us to do it at um, 5, 530, 530, 530, 
is you are going to take this 4.5, remember our angle is 45, I mean our course, our course is 315, right? So what you're going to do, and at this point, I want you to remember that you have to make your lines very fine because you don't want to get messed up with your other lines, right? So I want you to take your triangle, and you're going to go from the center, and this is going to be a little hard to explain on here, but I hope you have a great imagination. So you're going to get an angle of 315, right? And you're going to transfer that angle here. Because that was our AP, that is our, our tutors. And I'm sorry if I do not know how to spell or pronounce, I mean, um, the stars. Um, so you can clown on me on that. But then you're going to take the 315 angle with your triangles and you're going to transfer it here. And you see how I have my line right here. It's very, very, very fine, right? Now, this is where people make a mistake. They're going to, you have to advance your line point four point five, right? 4.5. There's two, there's many mistakes that you can make here, remember. You're not going to be using this anymore. You're going to be using this distance, right? Uh, so you're going to take 4.5, which is like around here, and you're going to move it to 315, right? Don't move it back. You're going to advance it forward to 315, right? Because you're going 315. So you advance your line. The second one, you're not going to advance it. And I'll drop my phone number later on. You guys can call me um, and uh, just hit me up if you have any questions or you're getting lost on how to plot it. Simple, but, you know, I had a hard time the first time around. All right, so we have, so this is our point. This is our other point, right? Now, use your ZN and your A and then perpendicular to that point, right? So let's start with a simple one, which is the first one. I mean, the second one, Stika, or however you pronounce that. Um, and you have your point right here, right? And we're going to go 127. So if you look at this angle, I'm sure it's going to be 127. I just did it from here. And then I transfer it over to here, 127. And the if you look at your A, from your sheet, so remember, this is uh, Spica, right? So 127, 127, this makes sense, right? It's going from here, here, 127, and the second part is four, away, away, right? So from here, 127, that's going towards, right? So we gotta go away, so we're gonna put it here. And once again, four, we're going to get it from here. You can get it from anywhere, from here to here, just as long as it's four. From here to here, it doesn't matter. And um, it's a way, so I put it here. And then you're going to create that perpendicular line, right? So we took our angle. We either went towards or we went away. And it was away, so that's four. So I had a little line right here, perpendicular, and then I took my triangles and I created the dark, dark line, right? And now we're going to take our second, our first um, line. So we were here, right? Remember, we were here. And our angle is 315. It's 045. And we are going um, 9.5 doors, right? So we are here, we are going 45, so get your angle of 45, 45, transfer it over to here, right? And this is 45, 45 right here. And now remember, you are going towards, so you're gonna go to the 45, which ended up being here, and now I made a line that's perpendicular, and now I intersect it. Make a little circle, that's your 0536, and 
Um, did you check your answer? You're square now. All right. I hope this. How long was this? That was 20 minutes. Wow. Um, I'll try to go. I don't want to go fast. If you guys have any questions, you can ask me. Um, and uh, I'll drop my number on the group chat so you guys can hit me up if you have if you have any questions. All right. Bye bye.